All right. Um. So this research paper, I predict, therefore I am, that you sent me, is uh, tackling a pretty big question, right, about whether large language models can actually be intelligent yeah. or are they just, you know, like super sophisticated mimickers? Mimic it. Yeah. yeah. It really gets at like the heart of how we understand AI and our own intelligence. Exactly. And, and this paper focuses on next token prediction, right. which is how these LLMs are trained, right? They get fed tons and tons of text data and learn to predict like what word comes next, but mm. can that like really lead to genuine understanding? Yeah. That's what these authors are, are setting out to explore. And they do it by introducing like a new way of modeling how LLMs learn using what they call latent variables. Okay, so latent means like hidden right. Right. But what are these variables in this context? Think of them as like representing the underlying concepts that shape language. So for example, the concept of sentiment could be a latent variable. Okay. You know, it's not directly visible in the text itself, but it influences the choice of words. So like a sentence can express positive or negative sentiment, but the word sentiment itself might not appear. Exactly. The LLM has to kind of like infer it from the other words around it. Precisely. And what's really interesting is that the authors don't assume like a perfect one-to-one -one mapping between these latent concepts and the words. Mm -hmm. They acknowledge that like language is messy, you know? Yeah. You can express the same concept using different words. And sometimes the same word can have like multiple meanings depending on the context. Right. Yeah. Like, um... Break a leg can be like a good luck wish, but it doesn't mean literally you want someone to break their leg. Exactly. Right. So by not forcing a perfect mapping, their model becomes more like realistic and flexible, which leads to their key finding, uh, the identifiability result. Okay, this is where it gets like really interesting. Yeah. What is this identifiability result and what does it tell us about LLMs? It basically shows that under certain conditions, the internal representations that LLMs learn you know, those complex mathematical vectors yeah. can be mathematically linked back to those hidden latent concepts. Hold on, that sounds pretty groundbreaking. So even though the concepts themselves are hidden, the model is finding a way to connect its internal workings to those concepts. Exactly. They prove that these LLM representations approximate a linear transformation of the probability of those latent concepts. Essentially, the LLM is learning a kind of code book that connects words to those deeper meanings. A code book, huh? So it's like each concept has its own unique code. And the LLM is figuring out how to decode the language by, like, learning those codes. That's a great way to think about it. And this finding has some pretty, like, significant implications. It supports the linear representation hypothesis, which states that LLMs represent concepts linearly. So this paper is, like, providing a solid theoretical foundation for something that researchers have already been observing in practice? Precisely. And it means that LLMs might be doing more than just memorizing surface-level patterns. They might actually be learning a model of the data a representation of how these underlying concepts relate to each other and to the words we use. Okay, I'm starting to see why this paper is causing such a stir if LLMs are truly learning like a model of the world, even a simplified one that changes our understanding of what they're capable of. But what does this mean in more concrete terms? What are some of the practical implications of this finding? One of the most intriguing implications is the possibility of LLM developing a form of causal reasoning. Wait, causal reasoning? I thought LLMs were just good at recognizing patterns and making predictions based on those patterns. How could they possibly understand, like, cause and effect? It's definitely a complex issue, but the paper hints at how it might be possible. Remember how we talked about LLMs learning a code book that connects words to concepts? Yeah, the idea that each concept has its own unique code within the LLM's internal representation. Right, well, if we can figure out how to unmix those representations, we might be able to uncover the underlying causal relationships between those concepts. Think of it like taking apart a complex recipe to figure out which ingredients are essential and which ones are just adding flavor. That's a great analogy. So by analyzing the way these conceptual codes interact within the LLM, we might be able to understand how it's reasoning about cause and effect. Exactly. And if we can crack that code, it could open up a whole new world of possibilities. Okay. I am officially hooked. This is going to be an exciting deep dive. Like imagine being able to ask an LLM, like what caused this event or what would happen if we changed this variable and get a reliable causally informed answer, you know? That would be incredible. Like having an AI assistant that could not only process information, but like actually understand the why behind it. Exactly. And that kind of puzzle understanding would be just invaluable in fields like medicine, economics, even social policy. It's almost like we're talking about giving LLMs a kind of like common sense, the ability to reason about the world in a way that's closer to how humans do. I think that's a very apt way to put it. And while this is still, you know, early stage research, 
it really points toward a future where LLMs could move beyond being just these impressive pattern recognition machines and become truly intelligent agents capable of reasoning, understanding, and even problem solving at a much deeper level. This is blowing my mind a little bit, but let's like step back for a second and look at the experiments they did. They didn't just stay in the theoretical realm, right? Right. They actually tested their model on both simulated data and real world LLMs like Pythia Llama and DeepSeek. And did the experiments like back up their theoretical findings? They did the experiments really strengthen the theoretical results, confirming the connection between LLM representations and those hidden latent concepts through linear relationships. So it's not just a mathematical possibility. It's something they're actually seeing in how these LLMs are behaving. That's right, which makes this whole idea of linear unmixing even more exciting. Okay, help me wrap my head around that linear unmixing idea again. How would you explain it to someone who's not a math whiz? Okay, let's go back to that codebook analogy. Remember, each concept has its own unique code. Well, what the LLMs are learning is essentially a mixture of those codes all blended together based on the text they've been trained on linear unmixing is like finding a way to separate out those individual codes to see which concept is contributing what to the overall meaning. So it's like taking apart a smoothie and figuring out how much of each fruit went into it. Exactly. And once we can do that, we can start to understand the relationships between those concepts, including cause and effect relationships. This is really making me rethink what intelligence even means if a machine can start understanding cause and effect. That's a huge leap forward. It is. And it raises a lot of interesting questions about the future of AI. Like what kind of questions? Well, for one, if LLMs can learn a model of the data, a representation of how the world works, what are the implications for their future capabilities? Could they eventually surpass human intelligence in some areas? That's a big question and a little bit unsettling, to be honest. It is, but it's a question we need to start grappling with now. This paper doesn't really delve into the ethical side of things, does it? Not in great detail, but it does highlight the importance of understanding how these models work so we can anticipate potential issues and develop them responsibly. Okay, I can see why you wanted to share this paper with me. It's definitely thought-provoking, but I have to admit I'm still struggling to grasp some of the finer points. What would you say is the key takeaway for someone like me who's not steeped in AI research? I think the biggest takeaway is that LLMs may be more than just sophisticated mimics. This research suggests they might be capable of learning a true model of the data, which opens up a whole new world of possibilities, including the potential for causal reasoning. And that potential for causal reasoning, that's what really sets this apart from previous work on LLMs. Exactly. It's a potential game changer because it suggests LLMs could move beyond just making predictions based on patterns and start to understand the why behind those patterns. That's huge and a little bit scary, too, if I'm being honest. It is, which is why it's so important to have these conversations, to think critically about both the potential benefits and the potential risks of this technology. Absolutely. Well, this has been an incredible deep dive so far. Are we ready to move on to the last part? OK, so we've like gone really deep into the weeds with this research, but let's zoom out for a minute. What does this paper tell us about the big picture of like AI as a whole? I think it really challenges our fundamental assumptions about what AI can be. You know, we've gotten so used to seeing these like amazing feats from LLMs, yeah. but we tend to just think of them as like really good pattern matchers. This paper suggests they might be capable of something much more profound, like building a model of how the world works. Right. And if they can do that, then where does that leave us? What does it mean for humanity if machines can start to grasp like the underlying logic of our world? That's a question philosophers have been pondering for centuries, and now it's like becoming a very practical concern. Yeah. I don't have any easy answers, but I do think it's crucial that we engage with these questions as like a society, you know? This paper definitely highlights the need for that kind of broader discussion. We can't just focus on the technical advancements, right? We need to think about the ethical and philosophical implications as well. Exactly. And we need to involve diverse voices in that conversation, not just computer scientists, but also ethicists, social scientists, policymakers, everyday people whose lives will be affected by these technologies. It makes me think about another point the authors made about world models. They talked about how LLMs, unlike vision models, are trained on text that already reflects a compressed, human-centric view of the world. Yeah, that's a really insightful observation. It suggests that LLMs might have like an advantage in understanding abstract concepts and causal relationships because they're learning from data that's already been filtered through human cognition. So it's not just about the algorithms themselves, but also about like the kind of data we're feeding those algorithms LLMs are learning from us, from our language, from our way of seeing the world. And that means we have a responsibility to be mindful of like the biases and limitations that might be embedded in that data. We need to ensure that the world models these LLMs are learning are as fair and accurate as possible. Yeah, that's a powerful reminder that AI, at its core, is still a reflection of human intelligence. It carries our strengths, but also our weaknesses. 
Absolutely. And as we continue to develop more powerful AI systems, we need to remember that they're not just tools, they're extensions of ourselves. And we need to treat them with the same care and consideration that we would apply to any other aspect of human progress. I feel like we've come full circle in this deep dive. We started with the question of whether LLMs can be truly intelligent, and now we're grappling with the implications of that possibility for the future of humanity. Yeah, it's been an incredible journey, and I hope our listeners are inspired to continue exploring these questions. You know, the future of AI is not predetermined. It's something that we are actively shaping, and it's crucial that we do so thoughtfully and responsibly. Well, thanks for guiding me through this fascinating research paper. I feel like I've gained a whole new perspective on the world of LLMs. My pleasure. And remember, this deep dive is just the beginning. There's so much more to explore, and I encourage everyone to keep questioning, keep learning, and keep pushing the boundaries of what we know about artificial intelligence. To our listeners, thanks for joining us on this intellectual adventure. Be sure to check out the show notes for links to the research paper and other resources. Until next time, keep diving deep.